dear learners welcome to epg patshala today we will learn and understand some of the basic concept about the visual image interpretation visual image interpretation is interpreting and understanding the object or information acquired from the object or processes in order to have a wider understanding this is crucial part in remote sensing field because of the different spectral and spatial resolution obtained from the different sensors released images the major objective of this module is to interpret the remotely sensed images and aerial photographs using different visual image interpretation techniques the themes covered under this module are introduction image interpretation elements image interpretation strategies techniques of image interpretation applications and conclusions the need of interpretation due to different spatial and spectral resolution of the remotely sensed sensors the information recorded by these sensors needs to be interpreted in a skillful manner with a desired accuracy the limit of the human vision system is its inherent ability to sense interpret and understand the object's reflectance appearing in the visible spectrum and this is one of the major limitation of the human vision system that our eyes are restricted to observe the information in the visible spectrum only therefore the interpretation of remotely sensed images is necessary to understand the object's properties and phenomena obtained in different spatial and spectral resolutions as we know that different objects and or phenomena has different reflecting behavior in different spectral range the reflectance or emittance are recorded by sensors that are sensitive toward those particular wavelength region for example the vegetation has higher highest reflectance in in the visible spectrum in the green region but together it has the highest reflectance in case of the near infrared region so human eyes sees it as a the vegetation as green in color the human vision system since the beginning or i can say with the childhood is trained in interpreting the objects in any thematic or specialized area in a given space in the visible spectrum only and to visualize and interpret the information recorded in wavelength other than the visible one the ability of a color guns of the computer system is an important part and the ability of these color display channels of the computer system is utilized to project the information recorded in any spectrum through its color display channels the example is the false color composite image this is a subset of the landsat 8 false color composite image in which the near infrared red and green channels are taken into account the image interpretation involves basic interpretation elements these are tone texture shape size pattern association shadow and aspect tone in a common term the tone is called as a color and it is the basic element for all the image interpretation task the tone is referred as a relative brightness which is influenced by intensity or total brightness and angle of illumination the degree of brightness is directly related to the amount of energy reflected or emitted uh, as a general rule the human eyes is capable of viewing 40 to 50 tones the tonal variation is analytically more noticeable when the features are recorded and produced by sensors digitally than conventionally printed images on papers or plastics for example a 8 bit satellite image displayed in a combination of three primary colors which is red green and blue can have a total size of 256 possible combination of digital numbers ranging between 0 to 255 next uh, 
important element is texture texture is the frequency of tonal variation on an image which determines how smooth or rough the feature surface is when visualized the texture can be coarse or fine smooth or rough even or uneven the texture is strongly related to the spatial resolution of the image for example as the scale of the image is reduced the texture of any object or area of the image becomes progressively finer and ultimately disappears for an image interpreter it becomes easy to differentiate two or more objects having similar tones based on the textural differences the example case is metallic and non metallic road discrimination next element is shape the shape is a general form configuration or outline of individual objects in case of 3d images the object's height also define its shape the shape is an important sign for the interpreter for example a uh, sprinkler irrigated fields when seen in an image captured from the space looks circular in shape similarly road canals or rivers appear in a linear shape the next element is size the size of object is an important indication of feature discrimination and estimation of its approximate size in an image if the interpreter has a pre knowledge about the object visually it is easier for him or her to identify unfamiliar neighboring objects and estimate its approximate size for example the presence of cropland and its size can be can be done with the identification of a canal passing nearby pattern pattern is the is an important element which is a special arrangement of individual objects in an image or aerial photograph into visually distinct repetitive forms thus specially ordered repeat for both natural and man made objects help the interpreter in recognizing them for example an orchard with the planted trees are distinctly arranged at a certain special intervals and it can be easily discriminated with that of the forest tree stands association the association refers to the occurrence of certain features in relation to other recognizable objects or features present in the neighborhood of that particular object or feature in which the interpreter is interested for example the presence of water can be associated with the inhabited or irrigated area similarly mining activities can be associated with the role or uh, with the road or rail network shadow shadow is the is an important element in two opposing respects first the shape or outline of a shadow give a profile view of the objects which help in interpretation for example shadow of various tree species or cultural features like bridges towers help in their identification and their area estimation on the contrary objects within shadow reflects little light and are difficult to be differentiated on an image which creates difficulty in interpretation for example shadow of a tall building may hinders the delineation of the objects on which the building shadow is falling similarly sunlit and sun shadowed side of a hilly region or mountainous area can help in interpreting the spatial distribution of dominant tree type or tree species even on both side aspect or aspect ratio this is the important last visual image interpretation element it is the ratio of width of shape to its height or it is the estimation how long the object is compared to its width when the width is larger than its height the shape of the object appears in a landscape form aspect of a continuously long thin features can be easily discriminated even when they are narrower than the spatial resolution of the image due to this factor road streams and other linear features can be identified even in a medium resolution image having 30 meter or 40 or 50 meter resolution image interpretation strategies the image interpretation is not a simple task if knowledge skills and experiences are not matching as there are a variety of features present on an image so it is very important to have a knowledge skills and experiences for for interpreting the objects with a 
higher accuracy or a desired accuracy. For example, delineation of the path of a river course appearing on the surface is very easy when we compare to identify and delineate a historical river valley. Therefore, the rational thinking, imagination, power along with the subject and collateral knowledge is a necessity for a better image understanding. Sometimes the image information is available in the pieces that need to be joined together by the interpreter to know the complete information about an object or phenomena. For example, identification of a particular crop type from imagery without knowing its seasonal period and duration may misinterpret the outcome. This is an example table that shows the tones of land use land cover types appearing in different colors. This depends on the spectral band combination and colors assigned by the users through the color guns of the computers in a digital environment. On the left side we can see the land use land cover types like trees and bushes, crops, wetland, vegetation, water, urban areas, bare soils. There are combination of the multispectral images. One is the true color and another one is the false color. And the last one is the short wave infrared radiation obtained from the geo cover. The, in the true cover, in the true color composite, the red channels include the red, uh, red band, the green channels include the green band, and the blue channels include the blue, cha blue, blue band, which are blue band. In the false color composite, as I told you, in case of vegetation, the highest reflectance is in the near infrared region, but our eyes are capable of visualizing only in the visible spectrum, so the vegetation looks green. And to overcome the, uh, the problem of interpreting the vegetation growth, we need to have near infrared information in the visual uh, for the visual interpretation of the vegetation objects for this reason we because of the mm, scattering problem obtained or observed in the in the because of the scattering problem observed in the blue region we normally discard the blue uh, blue channel uh, for uh, for studying the land use land cover information and for this region we have a free one channel and so now we move the green into the blue the red into the green and the near infrared into the red so now when we moved the near infrared channels into the red band now the vegetation appears red in color here we can see in the false color composite image the tree and bushes are red the crops are pink to red wetland vegetation are in dark red com uh, complexion. Techniques of image interpretation. This basically involves images and collateral materials. The selection of input images depend on the objective and the user's need. The collateral materials are in the form of maps, tables, text, graphs, or sometimes even the metadata information is taken into consideration. The collateral material provide better definition about the scope, objective, and problems of the given task. There are two kinds of uh, collateral materials. One is the image interpretation keys, and second is the field verification. After the image interpretation keys, after ground truthing, interpretation keys can be constructed based on which the object interpretation can be done. So interpretation keys basically assist in tuning the overall process of image interpretation. These keys are useful in two ways. First, it acts as a training tool and second, it provides a reference guide for the interpreter to correctly identify the information even for unknown objects in a planned and steady manner. Depending upon the manner in which the features are organized, there are two types of interpretation keys. One is the selective keys and second one is the elimination keys. Selective keys. These are the example input images with the supporting text. These are arranged in such a way that an interpreter simply select that example that most closely correspond to the object that the user are trying to identify. For example, agriculture, forest, water bodies, etc. Elimination key. Second one is the elimination key. These are arranged in such a way that an interpreter follows a precise stepwise process from broad to the particular 
that lead to the elimination of all items except the ones that the interpreter is trying to identify. The elimination key is the most commonly used key type. The, the selection of the type of key is depend on the number of objects to be identified and the variability within each feature class within the selected keys like variation in texture in an open area. Now second is the field verification. The field verification is a type of collateral material since it is normally conducted to assist the interpreter in interpreting, classifying and analyzing the image information. This is done before interpreting the information. This is to develop a visual perception in a human vision system to match it how an object of interest appear in the field. The ground truthing can also be done after the interpretation is done. This is to assess the accuracy of the information which is interpreted by the user. It is important for an investigator to plan properly before going to the field. For example, season, time to be spent, extent of study area, quantity of information to be collected and method of data collection. Now the application part. The main application of visual image interpretation is to visually identify the features present in the images. A digital map of the land use land cover can be created in case where the image is available in digital form in a computer. This, this can be done by direct on-screen digitization using the image interpretation technique. Alternatively, features can also be delineated by overlaying a transparency sheet on the image and tracing the features of interest like habitated areas, water body, vegetation, etc. The visual image interpretation is an important first task for the user in obtaining the desired information from a remotely sensed images. The display color channels or color guns in a computer system assist the interpreter in bringing the object information in a colorful manner which because this is important because the information extraction takes place in different spectral regions. The visual image interpretation involves basic interpretation elements like tone, texture, shape, size, pattern, association, aspect and shadow. These visual image interpretation elements work often in combination to interpret and understand the objects present in the input image in a better way and so that the desired accuracy can be achieved. The use of ancillary or collateral information is also an important part of the visual image interpretation elements as it helps in correcting the interpreter by removing the probable errors that can arise either due to lack of the experience or due to lack of the field visits. I thank you all for a patient listening about this module.